Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. We first reported last night that the body found in an abandoned house in Macon has been identified as Tadrian Shaw, who's been missing since October. His family has been searching for answers. Unfortunately, what they found was the worst case scenario. And our Keely Shields has been following this story since the beginning. She joins us in the studio with the latest. Keely. Tadrian Shaw's family have been searching for him since he went missing in October. The last time I spoke with them, they questioned if they would ever see Tadrian again. Now that he has been identified, the road to healing begins. From the beginning, it was like we had the highest hopes, like, you know, it's not going to happen to us. Tyler Sanders never thought her family would be grieving over the death of her cousin, Tadrian Shaw, who went missing in October. We're not the best family, but we're most definitely not the worst. And he was a person that you would call, you know, the best person. Days turn into weeks, and the past four months have been an emotional roller coaster for the family. Although the result of the search was not in favor of Shaw's loved ones, the family now has closure to the situation. More so relieved. Um, it's a... It's hard to explain, but it's, it's a relief that we know where he is. But it's also, it's, you know, it's sad to know that, that this was the outcome. Knox v. Coroner R.L. Calhoun explains how the crime lab was able to make a positive identification on the body. I transferred dental records down to the crime lab. As soon as I, I got the word that they needed them, I got them down there within, two, within 48 hours. And right now, they were able to make the identification of the dental records. Sanders says the next step is to get justice for Shaw. Even though this has happened, it's, we don't hate anyone. We're not blaming anybody's family, but, you know, the people that's involved themselves. But we would like for you to come forward. It would be better if you come forward. You know, just, we already, it's already been drawn out since October. You know, the quicker you just, you say, hey, I did it, is the quicker it'll be over for us. And the Mississippi Bureau of, of Investigation will take the lead on the case. The family plans to hold a candlelight vigil at a later date.